think linked to that is um, okay, are the DISCOM or the consumer ready to pay for those renewables? Uh, the price of renewables has come down heavily and we hope it's going to come down further. Uh, but at the moment, it's still uh, one of the most expensive uh, power. Um, so is the consumer ready for, for, for this? Um, I think another interesting question, from, particularly from GDFCS point of view, is, um, is that RGO going to be project-based or is it going to be uh, linked to the, the corporate? Uh, in the case of GDFCS, um, is the obligation, does it, do I have to comply with the obligation as main action? or if GDFCUS develops some other renewable projects, uh, which they have plans to do, uh, can we uh, comply that way? Um, I think that clarity is not um, there. And then uh, I think a last important question is the, the, the flexibility of the grid, uh, because there are huge plans to develop, I think, uh, more than 100 gigawatts of, of renewables. But what is uh, the, going to be the impact of that renewable generation on the, on the grid? Uh, in terms of stability, but also something that we see in, uh, in Europe, in some countries, particularly in Germany, uh, which have invested a lot in, um, in renewables, is that the, um, the renewables have displaced the, the traditional thermal power generation of gas and, and, and coal, and meaning that those, uh, particularly gas plants in Europe, are uh, only uh, operating for some time during the year, and so they lose their, um, basically, economically, it doesn't make sense to operate them. And so a lot of them, including some GDSUS plants, uh, have been mothballed or have been shut down um, because essentially um, the renewables have become so important that they're displacing that capacity. Now, the, the question linked to that is that renewable is intermittent, and so you always need some thermal uh, generation for the stability of the system or when renewable are not available. But at the moment, the, the standpoint of a lot of utilities in Europe is that, well, it is not economical to operate uh, those plants anymore. And so they may be, uh, in some countries, they're even afraid that there could be some blackouts because that uh, capacity is not there. So this is my uh, two cents to the reflection. Thank you.